Hey guys, Hecons here with another World of Warcraft gold making guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at gold making with the Love is in the Air event that is going on for another week through February 20th. I've already posted a video about a good spot for farming the lovely charms that you need for this event, but I wanted to make another more in-depth guide. So for the first part of the video, I'll be explaining the ways we make gold with this event. Then I'll do a short Q&A with the questions people left me on the farm video. The first thing you need to know for this event is to visit one of your faction's major cities to grab a lovely charm collector's kit. This gives you a chance to loot a lovely charm from each mob you kill within a set number of levels of your own tune. Once you collect 10 charms, you can right click to turn it into a bracelet. These bracelets can be turned into the vendor for one love token, which is a currency used to purchase the toys, pets, mounts, and other items for the event. There are three toys to collect for this event, but they're bind on pickup, so if you're strictly doing this event to farm gold, then you can ignore these. The three items we are interested in are the Swift Lovebird mount, which costs 270 love tokens to purchase, then the two pets, the Lovebird Hatchling and Petalfoot, which each cost 40 love tokens to purchase. The mount is a big ticket item and sell for quite a bit more than the pets, so this is the item that you're after. As of this morning, the Swift Lovebird mount has a US medium price of 60k and a mean price of around 77k, and here's what the distribution of prices look like across all the US realms. As you can see, the majority have them priced at 50k plus. The price point of your own realm will be important when you calculate your own expected gold per hour and determine if it's going to be profitable for you. The Lovebird Hatchling has a medium price of 2.8k and an average price of 3.3k, while the Petalfoot pet has a 1k median and 1.5k mean. These pets do cost about an eighth of the love tokens as the mount, but their gold values are a lot less than that. For that reason, Try to farm as many mounts as possible, then only pick up the pets if you have some tokens left over. Now that we've got that covered, let's go over farming these lovely charms. You will get these from random drops simply by having the lovely charm collector's kit in your bag and playing the game. However, if you want to proactively farm these, I would recommend the boar spot I posted a video about a couple days ago. This has very little barrier to entry as all you need to do is get a druid to level 3. So someone asked me if there was an alliance equivalent. I haven't tested this myself, but someone in Discord mentioned Murlocs and Elwyn Forest giving roughly 600 charms per hour. You should definitely try this out if you're alliance. There's also an exclusive farm for monks, level 90 to 100, that will get you over 1600 charms per hour. I'll be posting a video about this farm, and you'll see from my clip of a 10 minute farm that I did, that I managed to get 276 charms in those 10 minutes. Whatever farm you decide on, make sure that 1. The price of the mount and pets are favorable on your realm, and 2. You're efficient in collecting the charms to make this all worthwhile. Next, make sure to lock your experience by visiting the Experience Eliminator NPC in Ogrimmar. He's on the top floor of the big building in the Valley of Honor for Horde, and for Alliance, there's an NPC in the War Room of Stormwind Keep. I have joined a few boar farm groups over the weekend, but I found that these can be less efficient than solo farming. While you do get lovely charms for other people's kills, I found that in 2-man or even 5-man groups, I was only hitting about 400 charms collected per hour, which is less than half of what I was getting as a solo. However, if you decide to do this as a group, make sure to have everyone spread out so you're not all killing the same boars. You may be forced to group with other people if there's too many people in the area and you aren't able to tag mobs. Lastly, there's a simple macro to speed up your turn in when you finish farming. I'll leave a copy of it down in the description below so you can copy and paste it. What this macro will do is combine 10 lucky charms into a bracelet, then turn that bracelet into the NPC. Make sure to have the NPC shopping window open or it will not work. Anyways, that's going to be it for this guide. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave me a comment below. Happy gold farming and see you guys in the next video. Late.